Hello, good people with inner tubes. Um, I bought a uh, Australian kookaburra today. Well, not today, but a couple of days ago, anyways. Um, I had some questions about it after doing just a couple of quick tests. Um, and uh, you know, let's take a close look if we can. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, one thing that I found that was a flaw is in the reed, the, the circle that goes all the way around. It is actually overlaid across the top of her crown. And there's no way I'm really going to be able to show you that. Maybe you can see it. Just where her crown pops up over the circle, the circle overlays on top of it. Also, it is very, very apparent when you look at the bird's feathers under his bill. Mm, I'm probably not going to be able to get that one. Oh, there we go. Right underneath his bill, you those do not line up. They're much more finely detailed right underneath his bill right there there doesn't match doesn't match at all the letters are off also uh these tail feathers are off as well but um i i was kind of upset about it so i did some destructive testing and uh you can see maybe when it gets to focus I have filed away part of it, and you can definitely see that is something other than silver. Don't know what it is. So let's find out. Well, let's try to get a good idea. I have two angle hard bars, silver eagle. Um, first very easy test we can do is a niodinium, neodymium magnet test on a real silver bar. There will be no resistance. It will not attract whatsoever. Actually, since there's a slick side and a rough side on this particular magnet, let me put it on the slick side. So nothing, nothing going on there. Same with the bars. Nothing going on. I can also do uh, a little slide test. Very makeshift, but... Uh, you can see how those just kind of roll off there. And on this one, no, oh, it's not going to be so much like that. Sort of. It's plated in silver. But when we start to increase the angle, we really see the difference. Versus this one, I'll make the angles very steep. And it rolls off like that. Same with the ASC. This one, let me do it again. Dink right off. And then of course, it's magnetic. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> the biggest fake of it all. So it's obviously ferrous of some material. Um, and then if you want to go even further than that, we can do what is called the specific gravity test. Uh, very simply, you get your initial weight. This is this actually weighed very spot on with the filing down that I did. It's exactly one troy ounce, exactly. Uh, so let me get my on my calculator. One point zero 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 zero. We take a, some water in a Dick's cup or whatever you like. Tear that out. Now the trick here is to just submerge your object in question. Not really go deeper. I'm pulling 0 0.116, 0 0.116, 0 0.117. Uh, very difficult to get that accurate. So we take one divided by point one one uh, seven oh. That gives us a specific gravity of eight point five 
wrong for silver, totally wrong. And let's see what it should be. Englehard. Weighs 1.0042. And we do the exact same thing. Again, submerging, not touching anything. A little bit more difficult with this one. Point oh nine six is what I'm saying. So divided by point oh nine six. That gives us a specific gravity of ten point four six. Real versus fake. <laughs>